scary relationships after the show. So, recently we met a woman named Shante who was drowning in a cauldron of betrayal. Shantae's ex-boyfriend, Brian, was denying he was the father of her seven-month-old daughter, Shannon. Aww. You see, Shantae's own brother, Daquan, betrayed her, told Brian he witnessed Shantae with three other men around the time she got pregnant. Yeah. Oh, what Daquan told Brian? Daquan told Brian that he seen me with three different guys, I worked two jobs, and I got three other kids to worry about. How am I sleeping with other guys? That I'm 100% positive that is his baby. You knew Daquan before you knew. Yes, and he's a good person, and, and I trust him. He's a good man. He's a good man. He's a good man. You're a liar. What did he tell you? He told me that she was sneaking three other guys in the house. How am I sneaking three other guys in the house? You're a whore. You know that. So it was time to meet Daquan, and let me tell you, he had some choice words for his sister. You slept with at least three other men around the time you got pregnant. It's time to be honest with yourself and with Brian. I can't see my sister doing some stuff like that. She wasn't but at the end of the day, you're my, my brother. When it comes to seven-month-old Shannon, Brian, you are not... Let's go! We were all saddened by those results, and we spoke to Shantae. She sent us this video message. Watch. Hi, Maury. I was so shocked when I heard you say the word, you are not the father to Brian. But I was even more shocked when I seen my brother and Brian celebrating. But my brother was right, and I chose to forgive him. Family comes first, and nothing can tear us apart. Maury, I know I came off harsh, but I believe in honesty. I just didn't want my niece to be lied to. I know I made a mistake, but I'm going to make it up to my daughter for the rest of her life. Bye, Bye Maury. Thank, thank you. you. Great news, guys. I'm glad you stuck around. Anyway, next up we have Ashley. Ashley came to our show determined to prove to her ex-boyfriend, Adam, that he was the father of her son, Thomas. Now, Ashley claimed that the person behind Adam's denial was his new 17-year-old girlfriend, Caitlin. And Ashley also said she knew exactly when and how baby Thomas was conceived. Do you even remember the exact day you got pregnant? Yes, sir. 2013, June 26, 27, 28. We were at his uncle's house on the night. Oh, yeah. That's how y'all get pregnant. Look at the cheeks. Look at the news. Tell me the news. Are you sure it's the ex? Is that what you're thinking? She won't get a divorce from me. Oh. She won't drop him. Oh, in other words, she's still married. Why would I drop him? He's there for me when you sure ain't. Nothing to do with it. When it comes to three-year-old Thomas Adam, you are the father. So, I mean, do you think there's any chance that these three made peace and are now getting along? Here's the update. Hey, Maury. I know I got really worked up on your show, but I told you exactly how my son was made and who his daddy was. And I know y'all are still wondering if I'm doing it by myself. Well, guess what? I'm not. We put our differences aside and we're co-parenting for little Thomas. Thank you, Maury, so much for proving that my son is mine. Ever since you have, I have been there for my son financially and physically. And I still continue to support Adam 100%. Bye, Bye Maury. Maury. Thank you. Thank you. And that's how I like a segment to end. We'll be right back after that. Nicole was out selling sex toys. This all happened on a house call, right? Yes. And was forced to tell her man a secret. No, because I didn't want our family to be ruined. That involved the paternity test. And we have an update on the man who said this about his own child. He looks kind of Chinese to me, like people are calling him deadly. You know